Hey there, I wanted to go about and explain uh, what you need to be doing for this week coming up. Um, as you are aware, I am not going to be available because I'm having shoulder surgery. I was going to be planned to be out this week anyways. Um, so I'm not going to be available at the select time that I'm supposed to be logged in because I'm going to be um, out on sick leave. So uh, I'm going to explain this to you right now. Uh, with that being said, if you have any questions, you simply need to email me as soon as you can. I will get back to you as soon as I am able to get back to you. Um, but all of you guys in grade 10, uh, when you go to your Google Classroom, you're going to see the page looking just like this. What you need to do, and I'm going to explain all of this in a step-by-step -step process, so just make sure you're following along and know what's going on. You can watch this again if you have any questions, but first, click on Classwork. Okay, it's going to take you to this one right through here. Now, it currently says as a draft, I'm gonna post this in just a second, uh, but you're going to have a new section called virtual learning over here, and that's where you're going to go and find everything that you need to be completing for this week. Now, when you get here, you're going to get a Google Sheet. It's gonna take you, and it's going to look just like this. Uh, previously on the website, I had this all posted here with your lesson plans, so right now, we're going to do it on virtual learning. So just go ahead and find your grade located right down here below, and then click on the tab. So you guys are grade 10. You're gonna see that right through here, um, and it's gonna have your tasks, your objectives, your readings, or slash uh, tasks. So this is like the overlying um, thing, or it's not really, this is more of the skill, not the task, okay? Um, skill. So we'll write the skill right through there instead of task, objectives, your readings, your ta uh, videos, and then anything that is due. Now, uh, everything for history and social studies is going to be due on March 9th at 11.59 p.m. So make sure you get it submitted before that time or it is going to be go uh, late. Uh, the same thing that applies in late work is going to be going for this. So make sure you submit your work on time. Uh, first thing you need to be doing though is follow these right here. Do them in the order they are listed because I have them in that order for a specific reason to make sure that you understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. Okay, you really wanna understand the next step if you don't do this first. So first and foremost, I have made a video right here where I explain um, what you need to be doing on evaluating propaganda. That video I've recorded a um, the lecture I was going to do in class. Uh, you need to watch that and that's going to be linked right through here. So the skill is to watch this video. The video is right here. The objective is right here. There is no reading, there is no task. Simply watch this and understand what I am saying. If you have questions with that, you need to email me um, and just write the uh, in the subject line the objective. Put that in the subject line. I'll be able to explain what's going on. Next is you completing uh, the evaluating propaganda form. Um, so this is what you need to be doing. So it's going to be right in here. You complete that form. I've explained everything you need to know on that form in this video right through here. So I would recommend watching this before you complete the form. Otherwise, you might mess something up and have to do it again. That would be problematic. So let's make sure we're not doing that. Next, I've assigned you a video on Action T4. This is a Nazi euthanasia program. Uh, go ahead and watch that video right through here. Then you will complete a Google form that has a reading posted with this as well. That reading is posted on Google Classroom. It's also uh, uploaded on the class website. You can find it that way if need be. So you go ahead and do that, and then you are go and create, uh, make sure that your notes are just staying caught up on seven, eight, and nine. Now, with the notes, uh, I would highly recommend that you just get all of those done so that you know what is going on. Um, we're getting close to the end of this unit anyways, which means we're getting close to the time for a test. Uh, so I would highly recommend you just get your notes done when you have a chance to do that. Um, and then if you have questions, anything, please email me so that I know that we're on task. Okay, this is going to take a lot of um, real ownership on your part, uh, which is important because it's going to help you really understand this, but uh, treating this as if we are in class. It is important that you are staying caught up and staying uh, doing really what you need to be doing. Now, on this Google form, I'm going to explain one thing for you real fast because I get a lot of questions about this individual thing, so make sure you're doing it. Okay, so go through and answer these questions. I will get this switched from 10B to 10D. Let me open up something right now so I don't forget to do that. Uh, I don't wanna go to a new form, darn. Okay, I'll fix that in just a second so I don't have that. Uh, so you'll answer that right through here. Um, this all comes directly from the reading, which is going to also be linked um, on classroom, as I stated, and the website. But the question I often get is this one right here. It says, what is meant when the text says Hitler only had to speak about something uh, generally before, say, some ambitious subordinate would uh, almost instantly cobble together a full-scale program from nothing? 
Now, uh, what does this mean? A couple things you need to understand about this is number one, Hitler was a masterful politician. Okay, He had a lot of horrible things that he did, but he knew how people worked. He understood how politics worked, and he used that to really maintain his power. Uh, so what he's going to be saying is like, Hitler can just kind of say, oh, it would be nice if this would happen, um, or I hope this will happen. Um, and then someone is going to go and put this together. Now, this is gonna happen for two different reasons, two different distinct reasons. Uh, number one, is this is going to allow Hitler to deny it if this goes bad. Okay, so for example, if the public come out and say, we don't like this, this is stupid, Hitler, how did you, why did you do this? Hitler can say, it wasn't me, it was someone who worked for me who did this program. And then Hitler kind of gets to pass on um, any responsibility for something that goes wrong to someone else, allowing him to maintain his power. The other side of this um, is it shows exactly how powerful Hitler truly is. Um, he can just say something. If people want to get in his good graces so much, they're going to throw something together um, on his wishes, trying to get on his good side. So it's kind of showing that cult of personality that Hitler is going to be experiencing, or people are going to be experiencing in Germany towards Adolf Hitler. You're going to be seeing that right through here. And also, if something works really well, Hitler can take responsibility for that, but he can pass that off if it doesn't go well. So that's really what you need to know on this question. Otherwise, if you have questions, please get a hold of me um, as soon as you possibly can. Uh, so make sure you're getting this stuff taken care of. Everything is going to be posting on uh, Sunday for the class, so you can have this all posted. You can start them before the scheduled time if you would like. It's going to be up to you. Just make sure you get these done before the deadline, before the due date. If you have questions, please, please email me because I'm not going to be available uh, at the select time as I already stated. Uh, so you need to take responsibility. You need to email me with any questions you have. Um, otherwise, good luck, stay healthy. We'll see you later.